everyone and welcome to another one of my videos. This time I'm going to be talking about how a simple component called a resistor works. Let's start with the basics. Resistance is an electrical force that slows down the rate at which the current can travel. A man called George Ohm came up with a theory called Ohm's Law that related voltage, current and resistance. Because of George, resistance is measured in ohms. There are lots of uses for resistors, but in this short video, I'll only explain two. The first use of a resistor is to resist the flow of electrical current. The second use of a resistor is to set a certain voltage between two pins of an integrated circuit. This is more useful in more complex scenarios to set certain timings or voltage levels. But how does a resistor work and what is inside one? The answer is quite simple. Underneath the metal casing of a resistor with the different coloured bands, there is a piece of ceramic which has a length of copper wire wrapped around it. That wire is carefully measured out to be of a precise resistance and encased in the outer ceramic. I previously said that there are other types of resistors and one of the major types is a variable resistor. This allows the amount of current to effectively be controlled with one resistor. It can also be used, again, in timing circuits to adjust certain functions. The inside of a variable resistor is more complex than a fixed value resistor. There is a circular strip of carbon that goes inside the casing and then two strips of metal connect to each end of that strip. With the middle pin, the one I almost left out, there is also a strip of metal that can sweep around the strip of carbon to get closer or further away from each end and therefore changing the resistance of the resistor. Variable resistors are most commonly used in audio circuits or for dimming light bulbs. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you have any project suggestions. I'll see you in my next video.